All right, day three. Guys, day three. We've been hoping for some new snow to cover up all these old tracks. We're getting it today, but it might uh, shut us down for the day, but we're gonna well, That's try. all right, we'll let it do its thing. Yeah, look, I think so. Let's let it do its thing. I'm you gonna jump out and you do my thing. Yeah, we're gonna do a brave move real quick. I gotta get out and pee here in a second, but uh, we're finally getting a new fresh blanket of snow. Wind's blowing through, kind of making a nice, flat, even, clean surface for some new tracks to lay down. JT, do you think tomorrow's gonna be pretty money? I think tomorrow's gonna be a good day. This storm's just what we need to uh, freshen everything up, make cutting conditions good, get the cats back on the move. Tomorrow looks like a real promising day. Yep. Counting our lucky stars gave us good, nice snow, and tomorrow could be the day if nothing happens today. Well, it's snow subdued, but as you can see, this is perfect conditions for cutting tracks. The only problem is it didn't stop until about 7.30 and uh, mountain lions do 90% of their traveling. I'm making numbers up here. 90% of their traveling at night. Yeah, the vast majority. Is so all the, the chances that a cat crossed a road after the snow stopped is not very likely, but we're gonna keep cutting and see. Tomorrow morning, it's gonna be the day. Yep. Tomorrow morning's gonna be rad. So anyway, we're gonna keep cutting, see what we can find. Maybe there's always a possibility. Right, JT? Yeah, absolutely. Never but, gonna find nothing sitting at home, that's for sure. That is true. But it is a beautiful day now. Hey. Beautiful. What, Logue? You got something to say? Something to say you, you gotta admit, that is some hilarious. Wow. Don't look if you don't want to see Logan's pee, but this is pretty impressive. Yeah. No handed. <laughs> I told you you had talents, we just needed to find them. Exactly, dude. I Logan's a talented pictures. guy, we just need to find what talents those are. It's pretty good. <laughs> Riding in the snow with his pee, that's one of them. Mona Lisa's neck. Let's see what I'm dealing with here. Alright guys, we are back from the hunt. We actually stopped cutting about 12.31. Uh, it just wasn't happening and the snow came in in the morning so everything that was moving last night got covered up. But we're thinking tomorrow for sure will be dynamite. For sure, possibly, maybe, hopefully, will be good because we got fresh snow last night. Not too many guys out so tomorrow morning we should be able to see new tracks if they move tonight. So we wanted to come back though and cook up some of this mountain lion. We've been dying to try it. Uh, we forgot the camp chef with us. We went to Sportsman's, bought a new camp chef, explorer stove, and we are gonna cook up mountain lion buckstrap. Guys, look at this. Does that not look just identical to pork? Looks like a pork one. It looks amazing. It smells amazing, right? It smells like fresh meat. Yeah. I'm excited. We're gonna do it, try it a couple different ways. Logan said he has a recipe. It's up. It's you see these things? See how they're um, curled around oh, my elbow right now? Oh, you're getting serious, dude. It's up one of my sleeves, and you'll see what it is like <laughs> when I'm done. So I think what I'm gonna do. I've I've talked to a couple different people about it. Uh, Ryan Callahan from uh, he's First Light Marketing Manager. He uh, he's an amazing cook. So I texted him, and he said pretty much any uh, veal recipe will go great with mountain lion. He said schnitzel too, which I have no idea what schnitzel, schnitzel. is. What is schnitzel? I don't, I don't know. I never looked it up. But, Leave it in the comments. Uh, yeah, have you guys ever done schnitzel at a cat? Anyways, we're going to just, what I have heard though from a couple different guys, it will dry out pretty quick because there's very little fat or marbling on this thing. So what I'm going to do, I think, is wrap it with a couple pieces of bacon and put it in a um, tin foil and then put it on the grill box, on the Camp Trip grill box. And then I make up this, uh, it should go good with cat. A mushroom dill cream sauce we can put on it, but I and Len Logan's gonna do whatever he's gonna do. He's not telling me yet. It's a secret. Secret. Secret of the pros. Secret of the pros. We got some potatoes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we're kind of taking over JT's house right now, and uh, we're gonna cook up some amazing food. I'm excited to try it and see how it is, and let you guys know. There's so many people saying, questioning why we'd eat mountain lion. It's like any other meat, man. I've heard it's some of the best meat too. So let's try it. What I was thinking I was gonna do. What I'm gonna do is a little olive oil. Rub it with a little olive oil. Or a lot. There's always a little or a lot. Not that much. Rub with olive oil. Um, I'm going to salt it. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. 
Logan's saying this is Sriola sauce. I call it Creole. Sriola. It comes out quick. So I'm going to put that and do that to both sides. Give me a square of pink oil. Forgot to grab toothpicks, so what I'm going to do with this bacon is just... Wrap it. Maybe one more piece. That's my recipe. I'm just gonna wrap it up, keep those juices and flavors in there. Ready for the Camp Chef Grill Box. What? All right, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what I've done here. So what JT, the master of the mountain lion, was telling us is that the mountain lion doesn't really have a specific flavor. When I think of elk or bear or venison or beef, I always think of like a meat flavor. And he said it doesn't really have a ton of like unique flavor to it so it's more of a transportation thing so i was going i'm gonna go loud flavors um i got some of these what are these called not shallots but green onions green onions chop those up and uh some of this carry gold garlic butter if you've never tried this cooking a little bit of it goes a long ways i melted down some of that with some of these green onions chopped them up melted them in a bowl and then i took the meat my friend david who is argentine taught me this cut big slices into the meat, melted that down, and poured salt into the slices, and then poured that melted glaze that I made in there and mixed it all up, laid it down, and I also am wrapping mine in bacon. Casey thinks You're I'm pretty copying. pretty much just doing the same thing with no. butter. No, it's good. Okay. But yeah. Wild, wild of, mountain lion cook-off. Yeah, it's gonna go down up here in uh, Colorado, but let's see how it tastes. I just went and Sportsman's got this two burner explorer, the grill box, sweet, sweet setup. But uh, I'm gonna leave it here for JT after we leave. But you can't cook mountain lion if you're not cooking it on a camp chef. All right, the grill is heated up. Original ladies bad boys on there. Logan's got potatoes going on inside. I'm about to start the cream. Mushroom cream dill sauce. Mushroom dill cream sauce. However you want to say it. That's what I'm about to do. Logan's just eating pine nut shells. Good. <laughs> Squirrel. So Logan's little concoction of mountain lion backstrap has been on for about 24 minutes. At three, just about 325. Just want to check it. His is a smaller piece, so. Oh my gosh, Go check smell it. That. it smells amazing. Oh yeah, we got time. More time? Yeah, but how does that smell? Oh, it smells like freaking pulled pork sandwiches, right? Yeah, it's so dang. That meat's cooking though, if you oh, look. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Cut a little piece off. Let's try this bad boy. I meant like little, not microscopic. Let's cook it. No, let's keep cooking it. Try that, so? try that little pinch, yeah. Yep. I don't know if you need to cook it a little more. The bacon needs to get done. <laughs> that is really good. That's a small bite, but... That tastes amazing. Pulled pork sandwich. Pulled lion. Pulled cat sandwich. Pulled cat steak. That, I am... <laughs> I'm so excited now. I was I was way excited earlier. Now I'm so excited. That's more than way excited. Okay, bring it out if you want a little more. I'm going to cook mine about five more minutes. All right, we just pulled both of the mountain lion pieces off it smells absolutely amazing it smells a lot like pork it's really I don't even want to eat this bacon when I eat my mountain lion it was just there to for flavor and to hopefully not dry the meat out so much check that out that's not a freaking amazing piece of meat 
going to grab Logan's out of here. Ooh, that dumped out. Leave that bacon on there. So this is Logan's Mountain Lion concoction, which smells absolutely amazing. Not very handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. There you go. Look at that. Uh, wow. You guys are gonna get my real honest reaction. That's how we do it here in the Hush Life is honesty and reality. I had a little bite of Logan's earlier, just a tiny skosh, and it was amazing. But so that's mountain lion backstrap. I think I might have cooked it a little too long, but it looks good with a little bit of cream dill mushroom sauce. You guys are crazy, honestly. If I was to give you a piece of this and you didn't know what it was, you'd think it was some really good low fat pork, without a doubt. Amazing. So funny, like, there's always, always these like rumors that start about food like I can tell you numerous ones antelope for example I all my life I know I heard antelope tastes like sagebrush they suck they're no good to eat that's why I never hunted them antelope are amazing if you cook them right if you take care of them right same with mountain lion same with bear same with a lot of things that people are like oh those, you don't want to eat those ducks ducks is a big one we posted a thing about um ducks we just went duck hunting and and uh we were so excited because Ryan Callahan from First Light cooked us up some duck last spring on a uh, steelhead trip, and it was the best meat I've ever had. Guys, don't knock something because you heard somebody else talk about it. Try it. This is amazing. This, this, oh my gosh. I'm done. I'm eating now. It is like a really high-priced pork is what it tastes like. Dang. Okay.